Hi guys, welcome to Suchi's classroom session. Today we are going to see about management style. Each leader is unique, am I right? As a result, they all have different management styles that help them lead and manage a team. The style they adopt will have a profound impact on the people they work with and the outcome of their objectives. Some are caring and always around to provide you with the resources and support to get things done. Others live in their own world, pushing and driving their teams to the wall to get results. They are directive leaders that have a my way or the highway mentality and other also leaders who are too empathetic compromising performance at times all these different management styles may deliver the same outcome but their impact on a company's people and culture is different great leaders are defined as someone with a clear vision of how goals are to be achieved to benefit their people and company they choose to listen peers and direct reports are like to facilitate better decision making they are always available when the team needs them and they are they are a great inspiration to garner the team forward poor leadership has major negative implication for the organization it can result in poor productivity increased employee stress and negative attitudes in the workplace right leadership style can vary from one organization to the next no matter what style you choose a good leader must inspire and support their team and drive their organization forward let's explore the different management styles that leaders can adopt and look at how each one can help and hinder your employees and company success autocratic management style an autocratic leadership style resembles the traditional military command and control approach it's top down management the autocratic leader believes they are smart and always knows the best way to get things done no matter the question the autocratic leader has the answer the tagline for the style is just do as i say autocratic leaders rely on strict rules policies and procedures to govern the workplace they make all the decisions with the little input from team members the next one is visionary management style visionary leaders are driven and inspired by what a company can become they bring cohesiveness to inspire all team members to be on the same page they are often charismatic and are well suited to lead a company into new industries markets or categories they succeed at helping the company move in a new direction or creating an innovative environment for people to flourish in their tagline is come with me consultative management style consultative leaders assume their team has the capability and knowledge needed to excel at their jobs while the leader has the authority to make the final decision they prefer to listen to every team members view point before acting they ask employees for thoughts views and opinions allowing them to feel involved however the leader will ultimately make the final decision while communication flows in both directions management tightly controls the way things are done participative management style participative leaders normally involve their entire team they encourage their employees to take part in decision making and involve them in formulating plans and policies this is sometimes called a democratic management style as it decentralizes authority when conducting meetings the leaders takes a hands off approach they act more like facilitators letting employees open up and do the talking they work alongside team members focusing on building relationship and rapport pace setting management style the pace setting leader sets high or hard to reach standards to drive their team to achieve new goals this leader sets the bar high for themselves as well as their peers they all provide instruction and set the pace expecting employees to follow in their footsteps they don't trust others to do their job and they all take over when things done don't move as quickly coaching leadership style management gurus ken blanchard and paul hersey developed the situational leadership model they believe leaders must be adaptable and move from one leadership style to another depending on the situation this type of leadership revolves around the four basic management style they are directing coaching delegating and supporting the leaders can use any of these styles based on the circumstance and situation they are facing 
coaching leadership focuses on helping employees become better individuals the coaching management style helps employees develop both personally and professionally in the long term a coaching leader supports and challenges team members their intent is to help them achieve their development goals they encourage people to try something new on their own thank you